Hi, this is Mark from Esprit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Android smart device to your LEGO creation. In one hand, I have the famous Esprit yellow car, and in my other hand, I have an Android smart device that does not have the Esprit app on it at the moment. So the first thing we need to do is download the app. So let's do that now. You can find the app in Google Play. Just type Esprit into the search box or click on the link below this video. You will need to be running Android 4.3 or above to use the app. Once you have it on your smart device, let's open the app and set it up. Once here, you'll want to log in. Pull the menu bar from the left of the device and touch Login. Enter the details you used on the social.esprit.com website. If you haven't registered yet, do so now, it's free. After logging in, you'll be taken to the Esprit market, where you'll be able to download profiles. Let's choose one and download it. Later, we'll use this layout to control our creation. Now let's get to the menu by swiping from the left side of the screen and touch the button labeled My Creations. You'll be starting with a clean slate. To start, touch the plus symbol in the top right as we're adding a new creation. This is what you'll see next. Starting from the top, you can give your creation a name. I'm going to call mine Yellow Car. Next, you can associate a photo with your creation. Either take a photo of your creation, or if you've already done so, flip through your gallery to find the photo that best suits your creation. Below this are two important bits. The linked profile relates to the layout of your control, basically your GUI, while the linked S-Bricks will allow you to choose which S-Brick or S-Bricks are in your model, in our case, the yellow car. There's only one S-Brick in our car, but if you're building something bigger with more S-Bricks, you'll be able to add them here. Now let's add a profile. You should now see the profile you've downloaded. Select it, and it'll be added to your creation. Last but not least, we need to add the S-Brick. Touch the button, and the S-Bricks available to you will show up. If there's only one, you'll see only one. If there are more, they'll all be here. But we have just one, so let's select that one. Now we're going to set up the ports. There are four ports labeled A to D. We're going to go through them one at a time to see what they do. Let's try A. Let's test the port. We can see that the Jeep's steering is being engaged left and right. So we'll associate A with steering, like so. Now let's try B. This engages the motor to move our Jeep forwards and backwards. As you can see, our forwards is backwards. So we'll flip this around by pressing the invert button, like so. Now it should work fine, and it does. And finally, there's C. This should be the LED light on the Jeep, and it is. If we've set things up successfully, then let's go back to the Creations menu. So let's press the Back button on our phone. Let's tap on the profile we already added, and off we go. We're really proud of our S-Brick. Not only does it have an exceptional range of up to 90 meters, but it's also compatible with all LEGO power functions. And best of all, you can use it in direct sunlight, so there's no excuse not to come out and play. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or problems, head over to our forums where you'll be able to speak with our developers as well as other users.